Oh, oh there you go. Nice. The other one's right behind the tree. Go shooting iguanas and catch peacock bass. I've always wanted to do both of these. So we're meeting up with Travis. He and I met on Instagram and he's like, come on out to West Palm. So Dylan and I made the three hour drive this morning. We're about eight minutes out. We're gonna meet up with Travis and we're gonna do some fishing for peacock bass and then go uh, hunt some iguanas with air rifles. So super stoked about this. Should be a pretty fun day. Brother, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? How are you? Ready to do this today? Let's do it. Right? Heck yeah, man. I'm pumped. What's up, man? Oh. Parker. Nice and then we got my buddy Dylan over here. Dylan, Dylan. Travis. Okay. What, are we, what are we doing today, man? Uh, we're going to try to annihilate some iguanas. Heck yeah. And then try to catch some peacock bass and maybe a snakehead. Oh, that'd be sick. These are all things I'm trying to cross off my list. And he hit me up on Instagram. And I was like, dude, I'm in. Let's like go this weekend. Yeah, let's so, go. We're out here. Anytime. And then what we can also do is have you shot uh, Muscovy ducks? No. Have you? Nope. Okay, so... <laughs> Muscovies are on the on the list. They're invasive Eurasian, species, yep, right? Eurasian doves, pigeons, yep. and then also too, we can shoot um, if if we see them, we have to shoot them as pairs. Is the um, Egyptian geese? That would be sweet. So the Egyptian geese are cool. We're and about then, to have a day, man. Make a movie out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I was told the other day by some people that the Muscovy duck is actually very good table fare. Really? So if I see one today, I'm probably gonna do it and then try to eat it. Okay. Okay. Dude, I'm gonna make some bad decisions today if you sell me one of these. <laughs> I, I need, I really want one, honestly, because I live in this neighborhood. I love to shoot squirrels and stuff. Oh, They're eating all my stuff. Oh, We're right. in Sarasota. Oh, okay, okay. What's the unit like this run? Uh, well, that's got like a custom chassis and yeah. all this stuff. But Sheesh. Just the base gun, uh, like this one right here. That's yeah. the base gun. What is, what brand did you say this is? Raw Rapid Airworks. It's a raw agent airworks, and that's like one of the top dogs. Yeah. yeah. Is that who makes the regulator and the tank and everything as well? Um, I believe they make them in house. I'm not. This is one of the made in the USA brands too. So. Yeah, but these are all you you kind of sell Rapid Airworks. Is that right? Well, he's, he sells a number of different things here. He sells Rapid Airworks. He sells uh, the Brocox. He sells the FX products. He sells. Bro, what is uh, this shotgun up top? <laughs> it's actually oh. an arrow shooter. Really? One, yeah, yeah, it's a 50 cal dragon claw and shoots, you know, slugs or bolts. No way. Like this. Yeah. Oh, shoots bolts? Yeah. Holy crap, that's bad. Listen to that <laughs> shotgun up there. Or I guess shotgun style. It shoots these bolts. Well, actually, they, they make, they, there's a, the dragon claw is a kit gun, so it shoots bolts and 50 cal projectiles. Man, and that's they, so They sick. do have air shotguns that look very similar. Yeah, right? Dude, that's bad to the bone. There's a couple new brands that have just come out with an actual direct shotgun. It's oh, 20 gauge. Yeah, really? I saw the uh, PJ. It was probably yep. something I can't remember. Well, first impression, these are my kind of people, man. We showed up, and these boys are ready to rip. We're going to be... Uh, Going to get some live shiners right now to use for bait. Apparently the peacocks are bedded up and uh, we're gonna be hitting the canals for them. And then once it kind of heats up, since the iguanas are cold blooded, we're gonna wait till the sun, you know, starts hitting a little harder. So they're gonna be up on the shore and kind of out of the out of the shade and be easier to spot. So sounds like we're kind of running around in the city for these things today and should be should be pretty epic. I'm stoked. Dude, we're sitting at the stoplight, freaking dinosaur sitting right there. That boy's about to get smoked later. You know we're getting legit bait when it's at a gas station. Straight up. Straight up at a freaking shell, man. I think we, we get live bait at a shell by your neighborhood, don't we? Don't you? Yeah. I'm picking up picking up some shiners, putting them in a bucket. He's got a little aerator to keep them alive. Oh yeah. Pump some air into the bucket. That way they don't uh, expire. Deox, yeah, expire. The other day, these were some good shiners because the other day I bought some. They lasted. I bought them at 9:30 in the morning, and the last one died at 4:30. Dang! Just That's in like, this little bubble. This box, little bubble, know? yeah. Tough shiners. They're tough, tough. <laughs> I keep dropping ice cubes in there though. <laughs> we would like two dozen of your finest baits, please. Oh, you yeah. yeah. I grew up here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I 
I was wondering if you got a barbless hook and a bobber for my boy Dylan. Yeah, sure. We can make a barbless hook for you. <laughs> what are you tying there? A double onezer? Yeah, I just like to try like a basically old old noose. Put the rabbit through the hole, center down tight. Pretty much. They're catching them right there. Like basically all up along this wall right here is where we were catching them last time. Okay. okay. The two guys that I took last time. So we're leaving the first spot. We've probably seen about 10 of them in the water, anywhere from like one to what, probably three pounds or so. And they're just not biting off of a shiner, just like a floating shiner. We're not using a bobber or weight or anything, just kind of live bait. But uh, we're going to jump spots here. We all kind of have ADD fishing. If we're not catching something in the first 10 minutes, we're moving on. Hey, the first peacock of the day. Look at the color on that thing. Dang, dude, that's really cool. What a beauty. Awesome. Hold her up. That's a trophy, bud. <laughs> Dang, that thing's huge. That's got to be, what, six pounds? About that. <laughs> that's really sweet. All right, so what do you got? You got a scoop of tank? Well, yeah, that's actually more of a firefighter tank. Firefighter tank? Yep. And then we have a, this a raw HM1000. What this, kind of pressure are you putting into this rig? This one's getting ready to have... 3,000, 4,000? No, this one's only gonna have 2,000. And the reason why is because this one only has a 2,500 or 2,000 fill. So right there. And How many you know, shots do you need out of that? This one here, because it shoots an 18 grain pellet, It'll get about three magazines. Three mags? Yeah. So that one's ready to go. And then the other one, the big one, the big one we'll just use when we get up to the thing. Cool. But one thing that we were, we'll go through a whole safety brief on those. Okay. That way everybody knows. And then what we'll do is we can, I can set up where you have a tripod. This one's just better to have in the truck. So that way you're jumping out or running gun, or you can have a smaller, smaller gun to be wheeling around. Yep. But I like having this one ready to go because you can pop out. And then when we get to some of these canals, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stand, come out of the truck and try to get to the side of the truck that's on the opposite side of the canal. Makes sense. Because when you pop out to the side, they're going to run. Bolt, right? yeah. yeah. So the big goal is to uh, try to get as many as we can. Let's do it. We're going to fill the freezer. So we just... Uh came up on a bed of about 50 peacocks but whatever we threw at them they wouldn't bite dylan got that one like you guys saw but we're gonna go chase some iguanas now and uh it's a pretty sick setup what you just showed us i'm pretty pumped to see if we can't cap a couple it's kind of funny dylan was just saying it feel you feel like a kid again when you're like walking up and down these canals looking for fish fresh water kind of pond hopping it's pretty cool because normally we're used to being out on a boat and going to a number pretty far offshore so doing this it kind of brings you back to your basics it's pretty cool and not only that, but like when you see the fish in the water, you're like, that's it? That's normally what we use for bait, you know? But you get it, like the one Dylan caught, I mean, it's it's not a huge fish, but it's it's decent enough that you're you're proud of it. So it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> so we're driving to the next iguana. Oh, look at that rig right there. Dude, these things are everywhere. Well, uh, <laughs> Travis called us as we were pulling into this fun spot. He's like, dude, we just got permission to go into this HOA. And you know me, I hate HOA, so... We're headed over to this community and he said that they're all out and we should get a couple today so uh we're pulling up right now i'm gonna let you guys in on on anything that we shoot oh god go oh <laughs> barely dude it was coming down on top of it dylan mercury iguana hunter extraordinaire there's got one down right there got another one down We've already got two. I, should, I definitely smoked that other one. But yeah, I just went in the water. Oh, dang, brother. I don't know if you're going to want to be. Look, 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 right there. Oh, you cut his head off? Yeah. Brother, what a savage. I don't know if you want to video it or not. Hey. There's another one that went in the water over here. Oh, under that tree? Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah, get that rig. All right, I got him. Wait. You want me to shoot him? Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead and okay. get him. There's two of them right next to each other. You going for left or right? 
I'm gonna go from right to left. Oh! Oh, get him! Another shot at him. I am. I'm just. Don't miss him. Oh, there's a third one behind him. Oh! Oh, there you go. Nice hit. The other one's right behind the tree. If you, go, if you move your tripod to the right, I can see him. I just got a really strong right to left wind. Oh, direct hit, dude. Nice. <laughs> you going for that third one? Yep. Where's he at? He's running up in there. You got eyes on him? Yeah, but he's like, won't stop. There he goes. Oh, right underneath him. You said that thing in before we did this today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing's dialed, son. <laughs> so far, we've been on site for about five minutes. We killed about five iguanas so far. I think one of them got away into the water and swam off. Seems like those headshots are super important. But they're out here. They're out here for sure. I'm going to give Dylan a chance now to shoot. I've probably cranked off about 10 pellets or so. We're going to move over into another backyard where there, apparently there's a bunch more. Right in front of the fan. Right in front of the fan. One is right there. Zone's right here. It's empty and safety zone. Oh, it's empty? Yep. Nice shot. Let's go. Okay, now look. All those other ones are sitting the tree right here. Travis, I'm not going to lie, if I saw you walking through my yard with this, I'd be a little sketched out. <laughs> You'd probably go get an AR. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Skipping across. Those Is that a awesome. Jesus lizard? Yeah, it's yeah. a basilisk. Uh, get him. Known as the Jesus lizard. They run on water. Oh, dude, get that mill sighted in. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what, that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> Shot high. Got him, Dylan? Yeah, shoot him right there at the base of that tree. We just look at the base of that palm tree. Turn, 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 turn. If it's not spinning or easy, just do that. Hope he moved. Yeah, here you go. See, they're everywhere in these trees, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Now, there is a house with some little kids that are right there. Oh! Get that bitch! <laughs> there you go. Travis, can you tell me a little bit about why we're killing these things? Absolutely. So, they're super, one, they're super invasive. Two, what they're doing is they're burrowing underneath all the highways, all these people's banks, next to pools, underneath uh, AC, un like underneath your AC condensers and all that stuff. And they're, what they're doing, they're burrowing. So what happens is when it rains, it washes uh, out and it causes everything to collapse. Well, then what's the deal with the dogs as well? They're so their feces is highly toxic to animal, other animals Got as it. well as humans. Yep. Uh, they, carry they carry salmonella. salmonella yeah. yeah. Which no more, nobody, nobody wants, wants that. Right. No. Well, we but, got a couple in these trees right here. We've been at these houses for like 15, 20 minutes and neighbors have been driving by like, come to my house, come to my house, because they're just freaking everywhere. You can make that tripod taller if you need to. The only locked on one? Got eyes? All right, Dylan, let it rip. You missed him, bro. You sure? Yeah, yeah. See him? Aim a little low. For some... Yeah, hold on there a bit. That was not you. What? Who was that? That was the... Uh... Okay. Who's shooting? Ricochet. It's hitting the water and it's making that pop. You see those two up there, right? Yeah. One just dropped. Yeah. You see that? Are you and the boy standing up? I'm trying to find me. There you go. Direct hit. Nice shot. Nice shot. Ready? Um, Got it. Yep. Let her rip. Oh, hit him good. Yeah, you hit him right in the head. Nice. Boom. 
He did not like that. Sassy's about to retrieve those things. Oh, she won't. She will go right into that water and get them. But I don't want it. Here. Sassy, let me see that. Tell her here. Here. Here, here. She may bring it to you. Here. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Let me see that thing. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. That's a girl. Go get it. Go get the iguana. <laughs> I'll tell you right Here. Oh, good girl. Good, good girl. girl. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it, Sassy. Get it, Sassy. Get it. 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 Good girl. All right, we've ran the neighborhood. Now we're running these canals. I'm sitting on the back of Travis's truck. I got his gun in hand and a tripod ready to rip. So as soon as we spot them, I can jump out from around the truck and shoot them before they run off. Kind of a different way of doing things, but uh, this would be a little more fun. It's a little more long range instead of shooting through the trees. Dude, this is some real urban hunting right here. Starting from yep, the yep. There they are. There's one right there, and then the see the lower one. Get him! Oh, yes. Smoked him, dude. Once they go in there, they're gone. Nice. Good shot. You see the one at the top? Let's get the top one. He's laying. There. Oh yeah, yeah. He's horizontal. Hit him. That's a tough shot. Oh, you got him. He kind of backflip jumping off the wall. You got one? Huh? Yeah. Push him out of there. There's one floating in the water right here. Get his ass still Still there. He's still there. Shot over him. He's still He's right going. there. I don't know about you guys, but this feels a little bit illegal. <laughs> right next to the road. Get his ass. Smoked oh. him right in the head. Didn't he? Yeah. But he didn't hit him in the off switch head. Hit him in the lower leg. Oh, there he, that's the off switch. Him. Heck yeah. He did. He gone. Looks like the on switch. Yeah, pretty much. Dude, how many have we gotten today? I couldn't even remember. I don't even know. I think. Gotta be over 20. Yeah, definitely. Cool, let's pop on the other side of this bridge. And, or wait, where are you, you said there's another canal you want to yeah, run Yeah, we'll hit this bridge quick. and then we'll go to the canal. Okay, that's it. Yeah, he should know this one here. There we are, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, Dylan got the biggest one. That's a, uh, how much do you think that thing weighs, Travis? I got, you want to weigh it? Have a okay. scale. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? One, two, three, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. And then how many did we lose? Probably ten? four. Yeah, probably 10. Easy. Yeah. yeah so what do you call it? You said 13? Uh, what did I say? You said 13. 13. What do you think that weighs? Uh, eight pounds. The fishing guys would probably know. It's going to be like six pounds. Six pounds. I'm going to go five, four. All right. <laughs> that was like way off. 13 is for the Five pounds. Five pounds. Travis, five four. He got it. Yep. Four point nine eight. Cool, dude. I do it enough. So something happened in my outro I didn't record, but I wanted to shout out to Travis. And if y'all ever want to do something like this, hit him up. 
at the link in the description. It's going to go to his Instagram. I'll also leave his phone number where you can get a hold of him. It was a great time. Basically, you just show up. He has everything ready to go. He can get you the pricing on it, but it was a great way to spend a weekend, you know, whether you're with friends or family. I mean, it's really friendly for anybody who wants to get involved with it. I highly recommend getting in touch with him. He was a great guy. We had memories that will last a really long time. So shout out, Travis. Thank you so much, man. We had an awesome day. We got a day. new Raptor R 2024. This deal came up to Garrick or Cletus and he was gonna buy it because it's the same color as Mullet. And then I was gonna buy his white truck. Well, the way that things worked out with my trade is uh, I ended up with the gray one and it's pretty sick. It is the 2024, so I think it's got like 15 more horsepower than him. I wasn't even planning on getting one. This deal just kind of fell on our laps. A guy in Venice ordered it like two years ago and then said that he didn't really want it anymore. So yes, they're pretty sought after. And I was kind of getting sick of the long bed because I'm really not towing that much anymore. And since they're so sought after, I was like, dang, I got to pick this thing up. So I'm going to show you around it real quick. So this thing is the Avalanche Gray. I know they make like 15 more horsepower new compared to the 2023s. It's got different graphics. I'm sure y'all can tell me more about it, how it's different from the 2023. Uh, it was pretty, not very many options, you know, like they didn't do the bed liner and uh, there's no sunroof or anything like that, but I don't really care about those options. And uh, the interior is pretty slick. I'm pretty pumped about it. I got to say though, there is no way that these tires are going to last more than 10,000 miles because when you goose it a little bit, I mean, it just shreds those back tires so fast. But I want to give you guys a little HOA update because it's been a while. So I haven't heard a word from my HOA pretty much since I paid the fine in pennies last year. For those who haven't been around, I was getting fined for parking my pickup truck in the driveway and I paid that fine in all coins and then they never messed with me again. I think I got like one or two letters about it, but I kind of ignored it. But the craziest thing just kind of happened in Florida. The House and the Senate already passed a bill that basically tells the HOA they can't tell their residents you can't park trucks in your driveway. So it's basically a law written for me, I feel like. I mean, I still continue to park my truck in the driveway. I even got a new truck and I'm gonna continue to do it, but really the governor just needs to sign the bill and then the law's completely changed and I never have to worry about it again. So in hindsight, I'm pretty stoked about the, uh, the new bill. I'm, it sucked that I had to do that. Oh, here's Winston. Hey buddy, how you doing? How you doing? It's like that they all had to go down, but hey, they never ended up messing with me again and they're changing the law. So it says they can't mess with me anymore. So pretty stoked about it, but the truck's sick guys, pretty fired up about it. It's a beauty and I'm obviously gonna show uh, more content with it. What I really wanna do is line it up against the 2023 or Garrett's Raptor because uh, I know there's a little bit of a horsepower increase with this, but he also has bigger aftermarket tires and wheels. So I really don't know how it's gonna be compared. It's probably gonna be very close, but this one should be a little bit quicker. We got Mitchell Tinting in the house and he's doing a couple vehicles for us. We've got my Raptor R, we've got my friend's new Sequoia, my buddy's new Super Duty, we got Garza's new 4Runner, and we also got another truck coming, but I want Mitchell to tell you a little bit about what he does because he drove all the way out here from where, Daytona or yeah, Atlanta? Daytona. Yeah. And uh, he does things differently, and that's why we reached out to him, and he does all of Cletus's cars, pretty much everybody, everybody. Around our, in our friend group. Yeah. And uh, just the way he does it is different, and so he's going to explain that to you a little bit. All right, so all the film here, we pre-cut it at the shop on my plotter, and okay. I've got them all labeled here for each car. So you're not freehand in any of this, no. right? Like on a piece of glass, you don't like lay it up there, you already cut it. Yeah, I have a plotter, it's a FC9000, and basically we have a, a, a computer program. You can type in the year, make them all of the car, and pick which windows you want. It's kind of like a CNC program, and... Uh, Pretty much cut what you want, load up the film that the customer chooses. and That's awesome. So in. I just basically told him, I was like, hey, I've got a new F or 2024 F-150 with the you know rear sliding glass. And he was able to put it in the program. And then just, you know, I tell him what tint level I want. Ceramic, you know, 15%, 30%, strip across the windshield. And the program just cuts the film for him. So all he has to do is lay it. Yep. So it does, and uh, it also does for paint protection as well. We could do. Oh, really? You could do PPF on the whole truck too. Huh? Yeah. The program does it all. Yeah, that's yeah. so sick, so dude. So it's kind of like two businesses in one. Right. So, yeah, right. It's super nice. Yeah. So then you're not getting those weird cut corners or like you know it being a quarter inch too short. You know, because somebody was trying to freehand it and did a crappy job. 
this stuff's super exact. It's all 3D scanned, too. Oh, is it really? Yeah. And then this nice. is, are we doing ceramic? Is yeah. That, what's the difference between ceramic and normal tint? So, normal tint blocks about 30% of the infrared heat. A single layer ceramic is going to block about 70 to 80%, and a double ceramic is going to block up to 98%. XBEL is one of the only ones that have the double ceramic that blocks that much, so it's hard to beat XBEL's. Uh, but we're doing Brand. single ceramic on everything here today. Yeah, we're is that doing right? single layer ceramic on this uh, 30 over the back. So it Because it already has uh, some factory tint in the back. So we're doing 30 over the back. Then what are we doing up front? 15 on the front. 15 on the front. And then yeah. I think we're doing a strip across the windshield. Yeah, no visor across the top. I don't really like doing the uh, full windshield. And that's just because I wear prescription polarized sunglasses. And I've noticed with tint doesn't matter how quality of it is like you still get some weird rainbow effect to it and i just don't like the way that tint is on a windshield when i'm wearing my glasses and driving so just doing the strip across the front but i'm pumped man thanks yeah. for making the trip out yeah man oh look at these tight lines clean brother yeah, that's looking real do. good dude looking real good hey what's your slogan by the way what on the back of your shirt oh is that the one no, 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 no. The... Oh, your wife's hot tenor windows? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to put a picture right here of the back of his shirt. I thought it was so creative. It says, your wife is hot. And then on the bottom it says, tent her windows. I thought it was pretty catchy. Yeah. Well, Can they buy those shirts? I got it from like uh, air conditioning companies. So yeah. It's that same slogan. Like, your wife's hot. Fix her AC. You should it's definitely like put on a shirt thing. and put it on your website or something. Yeah, or we had... We had uh, air fresheners of it, and then we had shirts, but those were like the first model shirts we did quite a while back, so they're nice. kind of old now. But Heck yeah, man. I Actually, might bring them back and do them again. You definitely should. Yeah. They look so good. <laughs> we had other ones that said, uh, we fix flea market tent jobs. <laughs> I'm calling them out. <laughs> If you've ever tried to tint your own windows, just leave it to the professionals. It's so hard, and it turns out terrible every single time I've tried to do it. Bang, Mitchell, you killed it on this thing. It looks so good with the 15 up front, 30 in the back. Got a couple other car got a couple other cars to crank out, but the truck's looking way better with some tint on it. All right, man, he's just got about all the cars wrapped up here. You can check out his YouTube channel. Where can they find you, man? Uh, it's called The Life of Mitchie. Um, we got drifting on there, tinning with Cletus's cars and all that, and uh, just pretty much uh, everything I do in my life. So, cool, yep. cool. All right, I'll put a link in the description where you can follow his channel at. Yo, guys, my buddy Dylan, who we went iguana hunting with, it basically begged me to put this ad on the video that he's selling his 29 Yellowfin. It's a super clean boat, and its name is Glory Hole. And so if you ever wanted a chance to have your own Glory Hole, I'm going to put a link where you can uh, contact him about this boat. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.